You must be thinking about making a move to Olathe, Kansas. Well, today's your lucky day and you've come to the right place because I am going to take you all around Olathe in a map video where I'm going to take you on a tour of everything you're going to want to know when considering Olathe for a place to live and show you what I think makes it an amazing place to live. Hi, I'm Max Jones. I'm with the Mojo Real Estate team. And my partner Zach and I have been in business for over 20 years, helping people just like you move to both the Olathe and the Kansas City Metro. And we absolutely love it. But don't take my word for it. You can hop on the Google and you can see that we have over 600 reviews from customers who have worked with us. And you can see what they have to say about their experience working with the Mojo team. So with that being said, let's dive right into the details and I'm gonna take you all around Olathe and let's open up the map right now. Okay, we've got the map opened up to Olathe and you can see that it's kind of an irregular shape here outlined in red with the uh, northernmost border on 10 Highway right here which intersects with 435. I'm gonna zoom out here in a moment and I'm gonna show you Olathe in its context um, but you can see that it goes all the way down here to the south part of I-35 and uh, almost to Gardner, Kansas. And then it butts up to, um, butts up to uh, Overland Park right here on its east side. So Old Latha, Kansas is here at the southwest corner of the Kansas City Metro and is 62 square miles of uh of land here and it has a population of 140,000 people so Olathe is Kansas City's fourth most populous city um, as part of Kansas City so the suburb of Kansas City you can see here as we zoom out that uh, the Kansas City or the Kansas Missouri border is right here so everything east of this line right here is in the uh, in Missouri and everything west of it is in Kansas but then as you go north in the Kansas City Metro I'll zoom out here so you can see it as you go north on this this state line once you get to the Missouri River the border starts following the, the river this way so um, what we what we refer to uh, as the Northland as Kansas Cityans refer to as the Northland is everything north of the river and all of that is in Missouri and then as you go south of the river you can either go west and go into Kansas or you can go east and go into Missouri so here's Olathe clear down on the southwest corner and it's nice because um, as you get on the outskirts of Olathe you have a lot of acreage type properties and there's a lot of new developments and um, it's a really growing part of Kansas City. Um, the bad thing about Olathe is that it is clear down here and the airport is way up here. So the Kansas City International Airport is uh, right up here. Um, so really you've got to take I-35 to 635 to I-29 and then you can uh, then you can be at the airport probably in about 45 minutes. So if you travel a ton for work, um, if you're traveling every week, um, then Olathe might not be the best location for you, but if you just travel occasionally for vacation, then, then maybe it's not quite as big a deal being, you know, the proximity of the airport. I will zoom in back on Olathe and show you another airport, which is, let me type it in here, is the executive airport. And you can see here, I'll click on the, the satellite view. You can see here, this is the executive airport, which is um, just on the southeast corner of Olathe. And it is a really nice airport if you are an executive and have a, uh, you know, are able to book private jets uh, to come in and out of town. There's an executive airport both here in Johnson County and also uh, in, the, uh, in the downtown part of Kansas City is where another executive airport is. 
that's pretty much Olathe and its location within the metro area. Um, now we'll go over the major highways. So um, one of the main highways that goes through Olathe is I-35. And this I-35 goes all the way, well, it goes all the way to the Canada, Canada border up at International Falls. But as far as the Kansas City Metro is concerned, it goes all the way from Liberty, which is on the northeast corner of Kansas City, all the way down to through Olathe and uh, head south to, gosh, I don't know where, but clear out of clear out of Kansas and into other states, I think down into Texas. But um, it's the main highway, the main interstate that runs through Olathe. Then you also have Seven Highway, which runs on the uh, western side of Olathe, uh, down through the city center and goes right into downtown. So I'll zoom in real quick here while we're talking about I-35 and Seven. And then I will show you uh, there's another uh, main highway that I-35 um, dumps off and turns into 7, and they call, th call this Old 56 Highway, which is a, uh, connects to 151st Street and is one of the old highways that um, mainly serviced Olathe. And then you have uh, Santa Fe Street, which is 135th Street, and that will intersect right down in the heart of downtown Olathe, which you can get a better appreciation from when I pull up the map view. You can see that uh, downtown Olathe is right here. And when I take you, I have a sister video for this one, which is a vlog video. I take you at three different homes at three different price points. The first one is a half duplex, which is just on the south side of downtown Olathe, like right in this area here and is the least expensive of the three homes on the vlog tour. So definitely check out the vlog tour. Also, there is a pros and cons video where Zach and I sit down and we go over all the, all the pros and cons of Olathe. And you'll, you know, if you're considering Olathe, it would be nice to watch all three of the videos. But here we are in the downtown Olathe. And when I start the vlog video, I'm standing uh, right here in this big courtyard. They're building a a new construction is pavilion right here, which will uh, be a stage for some concerts that they can have right in the downtown Olathe area. And right across the street is the Johnson County Courthouse. So a lot of the Johnson County um, City Services buildings are, in, are here in Olathe. You've got the Johnson County Jail, which hopefully you never have to frequent. Um, but a lot of the Johnson County government buildings are here right in downtown Olathe. And there's some really cool um, little restaurants and cafes and stuff as you walk around the city square. It's kind of got the uh, old, you know, city, city square vibe to it, which I always really like. Uh, but I will click on the layer view and go back and show you some of the other main roads for Olathe here. So. You've got your seven, you've got your 35, and then um, a lot of the other main roads are these uh, streets that are gonna run east and west. So you've got 119th Street, 135th Street, and 151st Street, which are the, the main drags that will take you over into Overland Park. And as you go east on 119th or 135th, you're running into really nice areas of Overland Park over here. So uh, Olathe sits adjacent to, uh, to Overland Park, which is fantastic. We have a whole video on Overland Park and it's one of the best, uh, best sub suburbs of Kansas City for sure. And is also in Johnson County, Kansas. So those are the major highways um, and major streets. Uh, I showed you downtown, which intersects at 135th and Kansas Avenue. And now what I'd like to show you are the schools. Um, type it in here so we can pull up some, pull up some pins. So you can see here that Olathe is chock full of schools. Um, the Olathe School District is not the only school district in the city of Olathe, um, but it is by far the biggest. So I believe you have five high schools. You've got Olathe East here, you've got Olathe North High School here, and you've got, um, I know there's an Olathe South here, and 
I believe there's five. Let me go over my notes here real quick. Yeah, five high schools, 10 middle schools, 36 elementary schools, and that is just in the Olathe district alone, which has a student base of 26,800 kids. There's also in Olathe, uh, the DeSoto School District has uh, some high schools in Olathe and Blue Valley has, I believe, um, let's see. Blue Valley is one of the best school districts in, let's see here, uh, Blue Valley. Hmm. That does not look like it's in Olathe. I believe some of the Blue Valley, maybe not a high school, but I believe some of the Blue Valley schools are in Olathe. You also have uh, part of the, uh, one of the schools is a Mid-America Nazarene University, and it is an evangelical um, denomination. I'm going to click on the layer view so you can get an idea of the campus. But it is just a beautiful campus. Really nice baseball park and sports. Um, beautiful campus right in the heart of Olathe is the um, Mid-America Nazarene University. So not only do they have fantastic high schools and middle school, elementary, but also a really nice university right here in the heart of Olathe. Okay, so whenever I'm thinking about moving somewhere, one of the most important things to me is the parks. So next I'll go over the parks. Olathe, Kansas parks. And you can see here that Olathe has a ton of parks. Um, a lot of them are small little parks and neighborhoods. Um, so we can't, for the purposes of this video, we can't go over every park, but I do want to highlight a few that I really like. Um, the first is Heritage Park. It is down here and it is just an amazing park, um, full of walking trails and baseball fields. Uh, there are also um, tons of football fields and uh, there's a golf course. There's uh, my kids play football down here and um, it's just near that Johnson County Executive Airport that we talked about. Tons of soccer fields down here on the south side. It's, uh, it's a, probably the biggest park in Olathe, um, but definitely one of the best on the south side, the southeast side of Olathe. And then another one I really like is Prairie Center Park. That is near one of the vlog video tour homes. I believe it's the second home on the tour is in this subdivision right here on, I think it was on uh, Mulberry or Forest Drive right back here. And um, right just a walk away from Prairie Center Park, which has some disc golf and has a few baseball diamonds. And then it's also really close to Ernie Miller Nature Park, which is a really nice park with walking trails through the woods. Um, it's like a sanctuary, you can get lost back in here. It is very nice. I believe there's a, uh, a um, little educational center here with, uh, with information about nature and, gosh, I don't know, I've never been in there, but, um, but you can check it out. This is what it, this is what it looks like, uh, the nature center, so. That's on my bucket list to go have a look at. I've not been in the nature center there. Yep, this is the other one I wanted to show you that is really nice is Lake Olathe Park. So if you know Zach and I, we um, are really big on lakes. He lives on a lake and uh, we like to highlight lake life in a lot of our videos. And Olathe has this really nice park where you can launch a boat and they also have a disc golf course they've got a big amphitheater um, and landing down here on the on the lake uh, really nice playgrounds walking trails it is a beautiful park i believe there's some baseball fields too that are nearby i don't see them on the map but um, olathe lake park is another fantastic park and it is on the west side of olathe 
And then um, kind of what goes hand in hand with parks are the golf courses. And Olathe has awesome golf. Let's see, I'll pull up golf real quick. A couple I want to highlight is uh, Shadow Glen Golf Club is really nice. It's up here in the Cedar Creek subdivision. And this is just one of Olathe's most premier subdivisions and the Shadow Glen winds through the, the homes here. So if you want to live on golf, this is one of the best places to do it. And um, we also have Heritage Park down where I showed you just earlier. Down here, there's a big golf course here, the Heritage Park Golf Course. Um, and then there's Prairie Highlands. Prairie Highlands Golf Course, it is also intertwined in a subdivision here. So if you wanna live on golf, Prairie Highlands Golf Course is a good place to do so. This is on the southwest corner of Olathe. And there's Wolf Creek Golf Course is right here. Looks like this one is not uh, a golf course that you can live on, but it is really nice. Clear on the south side of Olathe here at, uh, gosh, that's 175th Street up there. So this is way south, um, almost in Spring Hill. Spring Hill is down here. But Wolf Creek Golf Course is really, really nice course. And then there's also Falcon Ridge, which I believe is technically in Lenexa um, on the north side. But I always think of Olathe because it's on the south side of, uh, of Lenexa and clear on the north, the north side of Olathe. So this 10 highway is the north, northern border of Olathe, but Falcon Ridge is just on the other side of that highway. So technically Lenexa, but we might as well highlight it for this video. If you were to actually live here, then you'd be living in Lenexa, which we do have a Lenexa log, vlog video. Um, Lenexa is a great subdivision also, or a suburb of, of Kansas and the Kansas City Metro. But um, this Falcon Ridge is really nice and um, one of the best places to live on golf, or if you just wanna go golf there, if you wanna live in Olathe and go right across the street, um, you can golf up at Falcon Ridge. All right, what else do people wanna know when they're considering living somewhere? I would say they need to eat. So Olathe for restaurants is jillions of restaurants, millions, billions, jillions, but I'll, I'll highlight a few that I really like. And a couple of those are here on the north side, Salty Iguana is a really popular Mexican restaurant. Um, really great place to grab uh, you know some street tacos and some margaritas um, then you've got um, Mr. Euros and Nick the Greek I I love a donor kebab with where they slice the slice the lamb right off the spit that's spinning around um, so you can grab one of those at those two places and then there's another place called Mom's Kitchen it is um, not the fanciest place, but a really nice place to grab breakfast. Um, just like the name implies, it's a nice home-cooked meal, uh, just like you might get at your mom's house. And then, um, what else do we have? We have uh, for restaurants, there's Joe's. Joe's Kansas City Barbecue. Used to be known as Oklahoma Joe's, but Joe's is one of the best uh, barbecue spots in Kansas City. And this is not the original Joe's. The original one is up north in, uh, in the Lenexa, um, the Lenexa area. But uh, this is uh, another one that they opened up and just as good. They have excellent burn-ins, really nice um, barbecue. Kansas City is known for its barbecue. We're pretty proud of that. So Joe's is one of the better known, um, better known barbecue spots. And then we have Another one I'll highlight is Twin Peaks. If you know uh, Hooters, Twin Peaks is a uh, is a place in this in a similar vein to Hooters. It's just over here where you have some uh, scantily clad uh, waitresses and and they, but they have really good food. You know, it's a fun, entertaining place to grab uh, 
to grab some lunch if you're into that sort of thing. And yeah, I mean, if we were to go over every restaurant in, in Olathe, it would take all day. A lot of them are places that you're gonna see everywhere, you know, your typical chain restaurants. But you will never go hungry in Olathe for restaurants. Um, you know, you got uh, First Watch up here, Johnny's Italian Steakhouse, and Cracker Barrel, and different Mexican places, um, Italian places, Thai, you name it. Uh, it's got every, every restaurant you can imagine, and Google is even struggling to pull up pull up a comprehensive list of them, but um, there's just so many. So, you will not starve if you're living in Olathe, in Olathe. being one of the most populous places in Kansas City. Uh, it's chock full of restaurants. And then, um, as far as other shopping that you're gonna wanna do, um, got a couple different types of shopping. One is like your big box stores where your groceries and that sort of thing. As far as grocery stores go, a couple of the ones that are popular in Kansas City um, are Price Chopper and Hy-Vee. You also have Hen House and Walmart and Target and Aldi. Um, you're going to see a ton of those around Olathe and pretty much anywhere you go in Kansas City. You're not too far from a grocery store. Um, but Olathe also has a, some really good Mexican um, supermarket style. So you got El Guerrero and Los Reyes Market down here. They also have a, uh, a Whole Foods market and um, sprouts for your, for your more organic shopping. So um, there's the Whole Foods there on 119th and I-35. Um, but really, you can't, um, you can't go wrong. I mean, it's, Olathe is full of restaurants mainly located on these, these main corridors that I mentioned earlier, 119th Street and 135th Street. As you get to the south side of Latha, 151st, um, things are gonna, you know, slow down a little bit as far as the commercial density. So um, the main shopping uh, locations are gonna be, for Olathe specifically, are gonna be located on 119th and 135th. As far as other shopping goes, um, a lot of people will cruise over to Overland Park for their, uh, if they're shopping for something real fancy. Um, but there, there are some several shopping malls in Olathe. So you have this Northridge Plaza on, the, on 119th Street. Um, you got a lot of shopping options right in here. And then down on 119th Street again, you have the Olathe Landing. Um, there is a, uh, this Twin tra Trails Shopping Center and Town Square Shopping Center. Tons of strip malls and shopping all in this, this whole commercial and industrial park right in here. Yeah, there's this whole entertainment district right here on 119th Street. You've got a main event and then there is, what I, what I was trying to find is the Furniture Mall of Kansas and Bass Pro Shop are right here um, at 119th and I-35. So a lot of shopping right in this area. And it looks like my dog's gonna join us here. Um, for the end of the map video. For entertainment, you've got um, quite a bit of stuff like the, as far as baseball parks, soccer parks. Um, that's what me and my wife do for entertainment is go watch the kids play, play sports. So uh, there is the three and two, I believe that's actually in Lenexa, just on the north side. Um, and then a lot of the sports are down at Heritage Park down here. I mean, I can't really think of things that are entertaining to do. Uh, as far maybe like nightclubs. I don't really frequent nightclubs, but yeah, there's plenty of bars and watering holes. Um, as far as as far as that goes, you can see here on the map, um, Lumpies and the Bar Olathe, and um, there's different different places. Maybe maybe that Twin Peaks is an entertaining place to go. To go. Um, there's a couple pool halls, like shooters and um, and different places like that. I guess that's not all that entertaining, but um, maybe over in Olathe there's some other entertaining things to do um, besides besides just <laughs> getting something to drink. But 
uh, major employers in the area. We'll wrap up this video real quick. Uh, appreciate you guys sticking with me. We're going on 30 minutes here. The Olathe Medical Center right here that you can see is a huge, one of the biggest employers in Olathe. And then there's also Garmin is uh, Garmin's world headquarters is also located right here. So right down on 151st Street and I-35 are some of the biggest employer areas. Olathe Schools is one of the other biggest employers. Um, but this is the Garmin World Headquarters campus here, which is really nice. And when I, when I, I have some friends that work there. So, uh-oh, my kid just got, got home from school. So I'm going to wrap up this video. If you need more information on Lolatha and, um, and want to know about it, hit me up anytime. You can comment below or you can reach out to the number, um, the number in the vi video description below. That will ring Zach and me at the same time. We're happy to take you through a little more um, comprehensive tour of Olathe specific to your needs. So uh, hit us up anytime. I appreciate you tuning in for our Olathe map video. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.